Time to see who's really causing trouble around here. The sheriff! We 
have been looking for this man. We? Just what is going on here? Forgive me. I am from the Bureau of Undercover Tactics and Ludicrous Espionage Response. Otherwise known as... Butler. I am a spy. A spy? Oh dear. Yes, because of your love of oil, you were our prime suspect. No outsiders getting their hands on my oil. But after helping Costington move in, I knew he had no time to construct the giant puppet you defeated. So the sheriff wanted the oil? You bet he did. He dressed up the old Day of the Dead mascot in an attempt to scare Costington away. You mean El Scariachi? <laughs> Looks like he's scared more than he bargained for. Like the whole town left. See? Costington turned out to be tougher than the sheriff thought. He didn't leave. So he had no choice but to keep the show rolling. Well, then he threw us in jail and tried to blame us. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling kids. Well, it seems like the curtains closed on this case. <laughs> yum, yum. scooby dooby doo
hear that? Yep. Sounds like we're about to solve this mystery. Jeepers, mischievous snowboarders. Let's not forget about the mastermind of this operation. Oh, come on, guys. It was just a prank. A very dangerous prank. You and your friends have hurt a lot of people, Moose, Ooh. including me. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Mr. Ink. You guys are 50% better than 100% amazing. Now it all makes sense. You stole the lift tickets to stop people from heading to the summit. Oh, <laughs> dude, you should have used the snow machines to make snow cones instead of the blizzard. And if I know costume making, and I do, this giant yeti was made from all the missing animal parts from the chalet. Yeah, and my precious equipment. Why? Why would you do this? This mountain was ours, man. Until they brought all those tourists along. You wanted to scare everyone off the mountain, so you could have the place to yourself. I could have boarded in peace, if it weren't for you meddling dudes and dudettes. Well, I'm sure you'll find a sense of peace when you help fix the damage you've done. Breaker, Breaker, Lila, we got the ice cap mushrooms. Over. <laughs> I think you boys can explain that on the way home. <laughs> Hi, Lila. I'm Fred, and this is the rest of the gang. Daff? Shaggy, Scoob. Did you bring that which I desire? Yeah, like we got it. Scoob? Yup. Here. No!
got it. As long as we get to eat some afterwards. Like I came here for food, not to become food. <laughs> It's addressed to you, Daphne. So get your mitts on and bring the gang to love Anna. That's creepy. There's a whole bunch of them. Jinkies! Our phone number is written on this pinup board. There are photos of us, too. But why is she so interested in us? I thought it was strange when Costington said he didn't have a phone. It looks like Lila made the phone call, pretending to be Costington. Looks like she wrote those, too. <laughs> Wait, please. One second. Nothing is as it seems. I know I look like a crazy witch, but the truth is, I just needed help. Like, why didn't you just ask? I thought you wouldn't believe me. My family moved away long ago, but I had to stay with Suji. She needs food from the swamp, but I've been trying for so long to make something I can take with me, so Suji can come too. And so you had us get what you needed? Yes. Thanks to you and Scooby, Suji and I can finally rejoin with my family. Thank you, all of you. And please, forgive Suji. She's just very protective of me. Oh, man. Come on! I knew it! Hmm. Oh, so, like, does that mean we don't get any food? <laughs> I wouldn't exactly say that.